Hey, what's going on everybody? The sponsor of today's video is BoxingMafia.com. As always, use code ROUNDHOUSE10, all caps, for 10% off the entire store. Get some sweet boxing apparel. Mine's on the way, so um, check it out, man. It's a good store. But with that, let's get into the video. So you guys asked for it again. This is DDG's newest sparring video. First off, I wanna say this is how you spar, man. DDG has the ability to actually spar in a great way. So if you guys are wondering about learning how to box and stuff, this is how you spar, man. You spar in a way that you're not trying to kill each other, you're trying to learn, you're trying to get better and develop. And he's up against a pro, so he's up against a guy who's more experienced. You know, being a pro boxer, it doesn't really mean anything, so I don't, I don't really know who he's sparring exactly, but it definitely means that you're gonna be more experienced and have probably hundreds, if not thousands of rounds of sparring, so. You know, he, he's up, he's in there with a guy that's, you know, talented, has the ability to probably beat him, but is going to, you know, offer some different looks and different ways to improve. And, and you know what, man, I've been saying he's been getting better. And this video more than anything shows that he's really getting better. And when he really turns it on, when he really focuses against his opponent, it seems like he's great, man. He's got some great technique and the gaps that I've been noticing are, are already getting filled. And that's what I wanted to see throughout his training camp. I wanted to see those gaps getting filled, those small improvements being made. And I will say that he's been making those improvements, man. I'm, I'm really impressed by DDG's boxing. I think he, he's, he's great. See, beautiful, man. That's what you want to do. When you get into a clinch scenario like that, you don't just hang around. You, you pivot, you move away, you give yourself space. Beautiful, exactly what you want to do. I love the body jabs. They're clean. They're quick. You know, he, he's doing great. But look, guys, the, the other guy here is completely composed. He's never losing his cool. This is higher level boxing. This is what you want to see. There's no, like, freaking out when the guy comes forward. He's very relaxed and calm in his guard. Perfect. And look, when he's, when he's exploding around, he's not throwing his hands way up, right? He's, when he's focused, he's not doing that silly stuff because, you know, he probably knows that it's silly, right? It's good. That's a, that's a gap being fit, filled. Look at that. Clean, light punches, man. They're not trying to take each other's heads off. This is sparring. This is good work. See right there, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying though, right? Because when you don't get comfortable in your guard, when you do weird hand movements on your way out, see, it's it's inherent for him to want to move his hands up and then as he's moving back, he remembers, oh, shit, I got to bring my guard together and the feint catches him and he gets caught with that left hook that I said he was going to get caught with, right? So he gets caught with that left hook because he, he, he for a second, he forgets where his hands are supposed to be. His opponent takes that second and takes advantage of it and light, hits him lightly, beautiful, beautiful sparring. But that's what that is, right? When you're sliding back, that's what I've been saying throughout all of his videos. When you're sliding back, you still want your hands to be in the right place. You still want to be disciplined with your defense. Beautiful move, moves out of the corner while throwing jabs. Exactly what you should be doing. Pushes him back when he gets cornered. Beautiful. It's nice to see. It, this is nice to see that he's... So Nate Wyatt's only hope in hell is going to be to overly be overly pressure and use his size to bully him. This is what I was assuming was going to be happening is that DDG's footwork is going to be able to make up for that. His knowledge of, okay, I'm stuck in the corner. I can punch back and then pivot away is, is what he needs in that fight if that's what Nate Wyatt's going to do. His ability to you know use the ring, to dance around the ring, to stay on his bike, to throw uppercuts when he ducks down like this. This is all beautiful work, man. This is all exactly how you want to fight if you're the smaller guy guy if you're against a pressure fighter this is this is not looking good for nate because ddd ddg sorry is effectively doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing if he's not on the front foot if he's not able to effectively you know utilize his game plan here he's fighting against a guy that is is overwhelming in his in his game plan right so ddg is having to adapt and he is adapting that's really impressive man First off, shout it to whoever his DDG's coach is. That guy seems to have, really seems to have it together because he's fixing the gaps. He's, you know, he's training him well. He's providing a, a good, safe environment for his boxers. I love seeing that, man. So shout it to DDG's coach, whoever that is. See, look at that. That's beautiful, though. He covers up properly, puts his hands up when he needs to. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Not throwing his hands way up in the air when he's moving backwards. Perfect. Perfect, man. See, he bounces off the ropes. He's, he knows he's against the ropes, so he fires back. He doesn't try to, like, get overwhelmed on the ropes. He fires back to give himself space, to make himself the space to move. That's exactly what you should do. That's, it, like, that's textbook boxing, man. Is he some world championship level boxer? No, but he's textbook. He's doing it exactly how he's supposed to do. That's all you can ask for, man. It's beautiful. 
Shout out to his sparring partner again. That guy's that guy's a phenomenal sparring partner. He's not overwhelming him. He's not hitting him hard. He's teaching him. He's letting him learn. He knows his sparring partner is a higher level than him. Okay, I'm just gonna say that right away. His sparring partner is clearly a really good or decent at least boxer, and he's you know he's teaching him. He's being a great sparring partner, a great teacher. I love seeing that man. It really it just just warms my heart. You know what I mean? Because I've been there, been in there with way too many guys that go way too hard does it again it's second nature for him to explode off the ropes not to hang out on the ropes beautiful see right there when he's pivoting left this time you guys remember the first video if you guys watched the first edg video i said i said the way he pivots he puts his hands way up he'll get caught with a left hook now he's putting his hands up while he's pivoting to the right that's exactly what you have to do man that that fills that gap completely now that gap's not there now that left hook's not available So you guys see what I've been saying the whole time? If you put your hands up, you're probably not going to get hurt, right? And he's doing that. He's just putting his hands up. He's able to hang out against the ropes for a second, and he's not going to get knocked out because his hands are in the right place. Even if the shots are coming through, when your hands are in the right place like that, they're gonna, they're only going to have 80, you know, not even 80. They're going to have 40, 50% of power. They're not going to be full power. Does it again, though. He's still, he, still puts his, he still puts his right hand way up in the air sometimes. I like the way he mixes there it up. Go. He goes to the head, then he goes to the body. He doesn't just throw naked yeah. body shots here. You know what I mean? That's what he was doing earlier, where he threw really naked body shots, come in without throwing anything up top. And now he's he's throwing the jab, and then he's going to the body. Beautiful jab, man. Beautiful jab. Great work. You know, what I love about this footage is is all that stuff that I pointed out before, all those, those big wide open bodies, you know what I mean? Not defending himself properly when he was moving back. All that stuff's been fixed. He, he's fixed that gap, you know? And now he's, now he's moving back beautifully. He's jabbing beautifully. This is really great work, guys. There's, there's almost no real big areas of improvement that I can see because, you know, he, his coach is obviously fixing those holes and his coach is pointing out the little problems and pointing out the improvements to make. And that's, that's phenomenal. That's exactly what you want to see, man. Like, like, I love that stuff, you know? I, I love when I see guys get better. That 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 really is, is my big my big thing about all this stuff. It, it isn't it isn't, you know, how good they are, it's how, how much better they can improve. How how much how how much are they taking the lessons that they're being taught? DDG's taking those lessons, man. You know, I don't know about his ego, I don't know any of that stuff, but it seems as though he's, you know, able to separate his ego from his boxing training and able to take the lessons and able to, you know have good positive training with his training partners and all that stuff is is there's levels to that stuff man where where you're not killing each other every round you know you have good relationships with your training partners all great stuff and i love it man he's fixed the holes he's fixed the gaps that i pointed out earlier for the most part they're still there a little bit the, the habits are still there but they're coming together so when he needs to he's boxing correctly that's all i wanted to see man so shout out to ddg bro he's looking good Every video I see, I think he's going to win even more. So, you know, I, I definitely think he's going to win. Shout out to him. It's good work. Great work. Hey, guys, thanks for listening to another episode of Roundhouse Radio. I want to say thank you all for the support. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, you know. Um, also, make sure to check out BoxingMafia.com. Great website, Roundhouse 10, all caps for 10% off the entire store. Check that out. And I just want to say thank you, man, because I want to make this a positive environment and all of you are making that possible. And, you know, just if, if you want, join because it's awesome here. Thanks, guys.